Um, the asteroid redirect mission is a, a mission we've put together here at NASA that essentially uh, allows us to take all the capabilities we've been building previously and put them all together into one mission that really allows us to advance uh, human presence into the solar system. So we have a concept of where we're looking kind of at the Earth reliant region of space, which is essentially the space station. And we use the space station to understand how the human body performs and, and operates and lives in, in the microgravity environment of space to make sure we can take long duration exposure to microgravity. We also use the space station to take a look at systems uh, that need to be high, highly reliable, um, low maintenance kind of things, life support systems. Our current life support systems on stations are not really satisfactory to go distances as far as Mars. So that's kind of the purpose of the Earth Reliant region. It also allows commercial crew and cargo to get established. So we have an alternate way where we can just buy services instead of NASA building a, a launch capability or a crew transportation capability to low Earth orbit. We can use that from the commercial sector. So it also enables the commercial sector. So that's kind of this Earth Reliant phase. Then there's a proving ground phase, and, and that's in cislunar space, and that's where the asteroid redirect mission will be and will be located. And then there's kind of the Earth independent or Mars ready region, which is when we really have got all the skills, all our hardware, all the pieces together to actually mount a multi year campaign to put uh, humans on the surface of Mars. So those are the three basic regions or the ways we think of, of kind of moving human presence into the solar system. So the asteroid redirect mission, it fits in that proving ground of space. If we were to try to go to an asteroid in, in deep space someplace, then that's really pushing us a little further than we're ready to go. We're not ready to take those kind of risks. The hardware isn't really there. We would need some kind of habitation module to keep the crew alive to augment on top of the uh, Ryan crew capsule. Um, and that would be just really too tough for us to do right now. So what we, we've, the concept we've come up with is we move essentially an asteroid or we re redirect an asteroid into this distant retrograde orbit around the moon. And when we move that asteroid, then it puts the asteroid in a location that we can get to with SLS, the heavy lift launch vehicle that can be used to, to, to launch the Orion capsule to, to that region. The Orion capsule has a basic capability to support a a crew of, of two for this type of mission. Uh, we can then depress the capsule, go out to a spacewalk, return a sample from the asteroid and bring it back to the Earth. So, so this asteroid mission really creates for us an, an environment and a destination in the cislunar region that's compelling to us that we can do with minimal new additions in terms of hardware and other equipment. So we need to build a robotic bus to redirect the asteroid into the distant retrograde orbit. This robotic bus comes from activities the science or space technology mission director was already doing. They were building a high power solar array system. They were building a high power uh, electric propulsion system. We'll just take that same hardware and apply it to build this robotic bus. That same robotic bus that redirects the asteroid, that will be used as the cargo carrier for a Mars mission. So it actually feeds forward into the next activity. So we don't build anything unique for any one step of this plan moving forward, each piece we build carries and moves forward. We also have the heavy lift launch vehicle, which is capable initially of launching 70 metric tons to low Earth orbit. It will be used to uh, essentially support this asteroid redirect mission, and uh, it takes the crew and the Orion capsule to this region. Uh, the upper stage does, and then it, then the Orion returns the crew from this region through lunar gravity assist back to the Earth. So if I look at what the asteroid redirect mission does, is it takes advantage of the crew capability we're building with Orion, it takes advantage of the heavy lift launch vehicle capability we're getting with the space launch system, it takes advantage of what the science mission director is doing in Earth observation or asteroid observation, it takes advantage of what the space technology mission director at is doing in terms of new propulsion techniques, puts all those together into a mission that allows us to operate in a region and gain skills and techniques and operational capability that will allow us to become truly Earth independent. So this lets us operate in the proving ground of space, it lets us learn what's moving forward and it takes advantage of all the activities that were already in place and already working within the agency.